Aloha, Annie Ellison here. If you're interested in real estate on Kauai, please remember to like and subscribe below. When you own a vacation rental, you want it making money for you, but there are some expenses that you're gonna have to pay out. So it's important to have a good understanding of what those, those will be so that you're not surprised once you become the owner. Buy the beach house, live the dream. Before owning a vacation rental, it's a good idea to have a really good understanding of the expenses that come along with owning a vacation rental. Now, these are things beyond your mortgage that you may or may not have taken into consideration. The general expenses that everyone will have to pay at some point. The first thing you want to consider are property taxes. Properties on Kauai are taxed based on two criteria, the value of the property and the use of the property. So when you use your property as a vacation rental, you are taxed as at a higher rate than if it's your primary residence, for example. Our current tax rate for a vacation rental is $9.85 per thousand of assessed value. So if you're looking at properties online and you're looking at the, the current taxes, those are probably off and you should recalculate them for your own knowledge to know basically what are they gonna be when you're the owner. HOA fees. Now most homes in visitor destination areas do have HOA fees and all of the condos have HOA fees. They can be much higher than people expect them to be. I like to tell my clients with condos, if you're under $1,000, you're on the low end of HOA fees. If you're over $2,000, you're on the high end of HOA fees. What does that cover? It does cover a lot of expenses that you would be paying for anyways. Remember, real estate on an island in the middle of the Pacific has real maintenance. As I also like to say, the jungle is always trying to take over. So your condominium HOA fees are covering, generally speaking, all exterior maintenance, including the roof, painting. They are responsible for the structural integrity of the building. They maintain all the landscaping, usually a pool and a hot tub. They also cover a lot of the utilities. They generally cover everything minus the electric. And about half of the HOAs cover Wi-Fi and cable and about half of them don't. So your Wi-Fi and cable and your electric typically are your only utility costs outside of your HOA fee if you're buying a condo. Now, if you're buying a home, generally those HOA fees on Kauai maintain things like the road, if it's a gated community, the gate, the common elements, right, the park, uh, the landscaping in the community. It, they do not cover your personal landscaping or your utilities or your maintenance on the property. And in return, they are generally much lower than condo HOA fees. Your property management fees can vary widely. I have seen property management contracts, for these are for short-term rentals, that go anywhere from 10% to 55%. Now, you don't see those 55% ones much anymore, but they do exist. And they're typically when it's an on-site manager and you have to use that on-site manager. These were agreements that were made many, many years ago. Today, people are generally paying between 10 and 35%. So at 10%, you're getting very little. There are companies that will just do a part of the property management. Those are the ones that charge 10%. Sometimes they manage all the online stuff. Sometimes they manage the physical parts, right? The cleaning, the maintenance. But usually you're only getting part of that for the 10% fee. The typical well-run full service vacation rental, you should plan on paying 25%. Good property manager is completely worth it. They will book your property and take care of everything. All you should be doing is telling them when you're coming so they'll block the dates and your property will be available for your use. 
Let's talk about maintenance and repairs. Properties vary so greatly, it's hard to put this in a box. Your maintenance and repairs in a condo, they're gonna be a lot less than an oceanfront beach house, right? That's constantly getting wind and salt sprayed on it. But you do need to have a grasp of the property and budget in what your repairs are going to be if you're doing a financial analysis of the property. Now, a lot of people aren't interested in that. They're buying it because they want to, and it's just great that it's also a good investment. But to get a handle on what the expenses are gonna be, you should have some idea of what the maintenance are gonna be. And if there's a specific property that you're thinking of, let me know and we can go over that information about that property. On top of real estate taxes, we have vacation rental specific taxes. If you've ever booked a vacation rental on Airbnb or VRBO, you know there's a nightly rate and then at the end when you go to check out there's additional taxes and a cleaning fee the taxes and cleaning fees i often refer to as a pass-through expense right you're collecting it from the renter you're passing it on to the state or to the cleaner but as an owner you should be aware of what these are kind of like a sales tax for vacation rentals we call this the tat tax or the transient accommodation tax Within the TAT tax, you have 10.25% that goes to the state of Hawaii. And then you have 3% of that that goes to the county of Kauai. So in all, it's really 13.25% is the total of your TAT tax, but they will go to different governmental entities. In the state of Hawaii, we also have a general excise tax, and that's a tax on all businesses. I do often say this is like our sales tax, and it is like our sales tax, right? But in vacation rentals, you have both a transient accommodation tax and a GET tax. So you also need to collect the GET tax. And for the county of Kauai, it's 4.712% you want to collect that from your renters in the online booking and transfer it to either the state of hawaii or the county of Kauai. if you've hired a full service property manager they should be handling this for you they will do those calculations they will collect them and they will pay the government entities that need to be paid the cleaning fee is usually something you collect from the renters and you pass on to the cleaner. That's gonna vary a lot based on the size of the property and how much cleaning needs to be done, right? Is it a one bedroom, is it a five bedroom? It makes a difference. Now when you're hiring cleaners or when your property manager is hiring a cleaner, they will come and look at the property and they'll give a flat fee. They'll say, you know what, for this one, it's gonna be $500, it's gonna be $250, it's gonna be $1,200, whatever that amount is. You could have other expenses as well. If you have a hot tub or a pool, cleaning and maintenance on both of those things, have a good idea of what your expenses are going to be. So if you're thinking about purchasing a vacation rental on Kauai and want to go more specific on a property that you're interested in, let me know so we can run through those details together. Send me an email or send me a text message. My contact information is in the description below. And while you're looking for that, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button.